Hello everyone, I'm John Carlo and I'm here with Brian Bowen. Brian's our new product innovation specialist and we're here today to talk about DataSync. Coming upon fall harvest, Brian, getting files set up and getting all of the client farm field and all that data management, it can be kind of a, a hassle, I would say, but DataSync is gonna solve a lot of those challenges that we've seen in the past. So maybe at a high level, just tell us what DataSync can do and how it works and what are the benefits to our customers? So traditionally, uh, to, to send the information to our displays, we were creating setup profiles in the operations center and then exporting them uh, through a USB stick or wireless data transfer to get them in our displays. So with DataSync, what that enables is in the operations center, we have our clients, farms, and fields, boundaries, guidance lines, uh, operators, flags, all of these setup items that now we can just sync to all our machines. So we enable DataSync, now all that information will automatically go to every machine in your organization. How long has this been available? And maybe talk a little bit about what amount of time and pre-work do you have to do to, to really optimize data sync? This feature came out in the spring of 2023 and it took us a little bit to figure out exactly what is it doing and how do we want to use it to make sure that we can optimize it the best we can. So having a very clean operation center account is, is absolutely number one because if you have a pretty messy account, it's going to sync mess to your displays. It was fresh this spring. You've had a lot of experience with it as well. Give us the good, bad, and ugly with, with what you experienced this spring. So syncing out to the displays, you have all of those data sets, those setup items. We can't change that. It's automatically going to sync what is active in the operation center. Coming out of the display, then you can pick what data you want to be available in the operation center. So if you don't want guidance lines synced back into your operation center to create a mess, we can deselect that. So that's probably the biggest thing that we've learned is, hey, we definitely want our clients' farms and fields. We don't want guidance lines. So then we don't make a mess of what we have saved in the operation center and keep that clean. Let's fast forward to say we do have clean guidance lines and we have that information. Is there an opportunity as we start talking guidance line management, path management, and, and ultimately auto path? So today, the guidance lines that actually move are going to be everything but adaptive curves. So adaptive curves are not able to sync back and forth. So typically our straight tracks, our AB curves that, that customers are saving to, to reuse are the ones that we're going to move back and forth. So another limitation is AutoPath and, and Variety Locator. Those don't sync today, but I mean, look for that in the future. As this evolves, um, there'll be so many more features that we can utilize. You know, Brian, back in the old days, there were often times where we'd pull into a field and for whatever reason, we may not have got that field loaded correctly, uh, had the right name. And so it sounds like with data sync that there's a pretty cool feature that uh, at the touch of a button or from our phone that we can solve some of those issues we've had in the past. Yeah, there absolutely is. So with the Operation Center mobile app on your phone, you pull that up, there's a setup tab and then you can go through that and find that field or find that feature that you forgot to enable, enable it from your phone. Within seconds, it's gonna sync back out to all those displays and that operator can get back to the field. That's awesome. So to me, Brian, one of the most exciting parts about this is if you have the hardware, if you have the Operation Center account set up, it's a free service or a, a free resource to help you better manage your data. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, absolutely, so yes. The operation center is free. Once you have the JD Link hardware, the connection is free. So data sync is free. So we can go in, quickly enable it, and then get your displays on the path to being synced up and ready to go for the season. To view additional videos in our Precision Ag series, visit prairielandpartners.com. To get more information on products discussed in the video, contact a Prairieland Partners sales representative.